We begin this evening with an eight on your side investigation. Building inspector overload. More questions about whether Hillsborough County allows its building inspectors enough time to do a thorough job and keep you safe. One Hillsborough inspector, for example, took on 81 inspections today, and he was saddled with 77 yesterday. Eight on your side began uncovering this inspection overload last June, and tonight, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews shows us it really hasn't eased up all that much. You know, the county claims that it's doing a better job managing the building inspections load, but the numbers tell a much different story. You need only look to the storms in Manatee and Sarasota counties this past weekend to appreciate how important it is that buildings are constructed to code. Inspection logs obtained by Eight on Your Side show Hillsborough County inspectors may not have the time to be sure. According to the logs, today the county assigned 81 inspections to one building inspector, 63 to another, 60 to another. On Wednesday, 77 inspections for one building inspector, 68 to a second, 64 to a third. The International Code Council recommends 16 to 18 inspections per day. I showed the logs to County Commissioner Al Higginbotham. Does the amount of inspections that you're seeing on these sheets here today surprise you? It's a heavy workload, and uh, I don't know how you would accomplish 80 inspections in an eight-hour day. The heavy workload led Inspector Benjamin Buckley to quit last year. One day, the county assigned him 91 inspections. In his resignation letter, Buckley cited poor working conditions and an overload that creates undue stress. If we're under a lot of pressure, uh, you know, I, I believe that uh, something could be missed. We're playing beat the clock, if you will. Another resignation letter from electrical inspector Michael Lindsay stated, the workload put on inspectors every day is ridiculously high and way out of the industry recommended standards. You see a workload that's that high, it makes you wonder why. Well, here's one reason. Building official Mike Romaldi, who was in meetings today, told me one reason for the backup was this week was Martin Luther King Day. County might shut down, but not the building industry. And he's going to talk to you later. He didn't have time today, is that right? right? He was in meetings all day today. We hope to talk to him a little bit later. What are inspectors telling you? Inspectors worry, obviously, that if they go public, they're going to lose their jobs. Uh, the folks I've spoken with tell me the load is heavy. It is continuous. But I've got logs that go back to November that reveal inspectors each shouldering 50, 60, 70 inspections a day. So it doesn't sound like it's letting up and at all. 81 in one day. I can't Too imagine much. their angst in trying to manage Yeah, you, you can't get through 81 and do them right. And what do you miss? That's the big yeah, question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Well, and